Remember your mother tucking you in bed and saying, don't let the bed bugs bite, before she turned off your nightlight? You probably thought she was kidding. Well, she wasn't kidding. It's just before dawn. You're in the deepest sleep you'll be in all night, and the bed bugs are ready to strike. Bed bugs once lived in caves and sucked the blood of bats and your prehistoric ancestors. When we left our caves, so did they. They sneak in through the tiniest cracks, the most minuscule openings. They even come in through an outlet. They know where you are because they can sense the carbon dioxide you exhale. You've got something they want, blood. When they get within sucking distance, they use heat sensors on their antennae to find the juiciest place to drill for plasma. An exposed limb is like a flashing neon sign for a free, all-you-can-suck buffet. If nobody does anything, thousands of them can infest a single bedroom. Like a safe cracker opening a vault, the bed bug finds the perfect spot to hit the blood bank. Bed bugs have to drink blood to stay alive and breed. And Mother Nature is on the side of the bed bug. The bug administers an anesthetic so you don't wake up, as well as an anticoagulant, so your vital life essence will gush freely from your veins. And here's a cheery fact. A bed bug can drink three times its weight in a single meal. Talk about your big gulp. Here's something else to brighten your day. If you've got a serious infestation, you might get bitten 500 times in a single night. You might get anemia, unlike the bed bug. All done. See you tomorrow, sucker. No, I guess it's the sucker. You're the sucky. For the best subscription offers to any National Geographic magazine, Log on to nationalgeographic.com slash magazines. This presentation copyright National Geographic Society, 2007.